Hi everybody, welcome to Zyber Organics YouTube channel. My name is Tunayane and if you're new here, this channel is all about making, selling and DIY skincare. So hello, welcome. Uh, I just noticed a lot of fine lines around my eyes. I think they're called laugh lines and I'm hitting 40 this year, <laughs> in February especially, but uh, I'm not afraid and I'm getting wiser. So, and what's the better way of celebrating this year of posting more YouTube content for you to enjoy and get inspired. So. Again, hello. Uh, today we're going to make a product that I got inspired while browsing on the internet. It's called uh, BHA Exfoliant. Um, I saw this product, I think Paula's Choice does this, and it's very a lot of reviews, really good reviews. It's affordable, it's around $10 to $15, and it's called 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. And I got really intrigued by it, and I, I kind of challenged myself as a natural cosmetic formulator, myself, I wanted to do, can I do this as a DIY myself? As you know, BHA is called beta hydroxy acids and salicylic acid is the main ingredient that is used as a BHA in the BHA products. So salicylic acid can be a little bit tricky to work and also don't forget is a drug regulated ingredient. So you have to look at the, around the world, wherever you're watching, you have to look at the uh, regulations around this. For example, in Europe, um, you can use salicylic acid up to up to two percent in any kind of leave-on product any kind of say for example moisturizer serums anything that leaves on your face you can use up to two percent and as a wash off like face wash you can use up to three percent i think it's the same in america as well fda approval so you might look at the fda guidelines actually i found a nice table where you can see the europe and us uh ones I'm gonna put them on the table right now, which will appear in a second. And yeah, so they will definitely check the um, regulations around the world, uh, if you can use it. As you can see in this product from Polar's Choice, it's also 2% because you're going to leave it on your face. So why salicylic acid, AKA BHA products are very popular, especially people suffering with oily or acne prone skin, is because it has significant exfoliation benefits, as well as it has the ability to normalize the sebum protection. So you want those extra oil and decongest all those blocked pores. So that's why everybody is going to have a full kind of peeling effect on your skin and bring out the new clean underneath the new new skin and get rid of all those dead skin dead skin cells basically so that's why it's very very popular and i as again i said i'm going to formulate this on the gentlest ways possible you know i looked at the ingredients and i'm going to show you the ingredients as well of this polar's choice and i'm going to twist it a little bit just to make it more moisturizing more richer ingredients and you know because it's very you know you're gonna be exfoliating your skin you also want to, you don't want to damage your skin and actually keep your moisture on your face so let's analyze the, the ingredients of this product and i'll show you my ingredients as well okay so here i am on amazon uk website i'm just checking okay so you see they've got like 5074 one ratings and it's number one seller in face treatments. It's a really good, so it's a very popular product. It's called 14, it's cost 14 pounds. And let's have a look at the ingredients. Safety information directions. All right, it doesn't show here, but maybe when, maybe it's on their website, they can show it to you. So let's have a look at their website quickly. There it is. Is there you go the ingredients? So let's have a look at their ingredients. Yes, aqua, which means water, methyl propanadiol, that's a synthetic uh, penetration enhancer, botulinum glycol, so that also has solubilization properties and hydration. Yes, salicylic acid, polysorbate 20, that's a stabilizer, green tea leaf extract, skin calming, sodium hydroxide, there's a pH balancer. Tetrasodium EDTA, that's a synthetic stabilizer as well. Panexatolone, this is again synthetic preservative. It's a little bit controversial. I mean, um, preservative, there's a lot of like, it's one of those, it's a bit uh, demonized, but um, I'm surprised they're using that one anyway. But um, yeah, so basically, it's they're not using too many ingredients. It looks quite straightforward. And let me introduce you my own ingredients to use. Okay, so I have three versions of salicylic acid here, okay? 
So this is the raw form salicylic acid. It's a powder granular, granular. And if you want to get this, I'm gonna put the link. Uh, this is from a company called Salt Kitchens. It's a UK supplier. I'm gonna put the link for you. Uh, and I'm not affiliated by them. This is just my, I bought this with my own money. All the ingredients you'll see are I bought from my money. I haven't, uh, I'm not being sponsored at all. And yeah, as you can see, it's like a sugar. And this is the raw form salicylic acid. It's like a powder. Next one is, this is a propriety 40% solution of salicylic acid called Surcelic 40. It is made by a company called Vanguard Group, which you're going to see on the screen. Um, it's basically, they say, it's much better performance, ready-made solution. You don't have to worry about dissolving salicylic acid. It is a little bit uh, difficult to work with, um, especially in a water-based solution. Uh, you need a lot of solubilizers and everything. And um, this is a ready-made solution. They have good claims. They claim that they have better performance than using the powder form of salicylic acid. So um, I put the links for them and you can also request a sample from the company. If you're not in the US or um, they also can guide you from their local distributor where you can get this. I bought this from a local supplier for called the formulary which i'm going to put the link but i don't think they will uh, send it overseas but you can check it from them or check it from the vanguard group themselves so it's interesting material to work with and this is widow bug extract so this is the natural form of uh, salicylic acid this is the plant called willow bark where you have the natural uh, version of, of salicylic acid without just adding it so you can add Again, small concentrate of this willow bark, but uh, it's because it's natural extract, you may want to use this as a booster. Um, you don't want to uh, combine all of them, just pick one of them and then work. And in my case, I'm going to pick the most difficult one, <laughs> um, which is with the powder form. And this is the easiest one and the cheapest one you can get. This is slightly a little bit expensive because it's proprietary and, you know, it could it may have... Uh, you may not get in a small form either, so it may be a little bit problematic to get this. Uh, this powder form is available most of the places. Again, without bark extra, you might not find everywhere. And um, so, again, I'm going to choose a difficult version and start working with the powder form of salicylic acid. I'm going to show you how to dissolve it as well. So that'll be the next. For precise measurement, I got my jeweler scale here, and I'm also using a 100 milliliter beaker. We're going to make 50 ml of this liquid exfoliant. Um, so we're going to start with 2% salicylic acid. In the meantime, I'm just going to show you the formula, which will appear on the screen right now. And you can follow me follow from there. I'm adding I'm adding 2%. So that's going to equate to 1 gram. So let's add 1 gram of salicylic acid. Okay. Next, we're going to add the propanadiol. So we're using 10% propanadiol. So here I'm adding five grams of five propanadiol. Uh, okay. Next, we're going to add the pentylene glycol. I'm adding the pentylene glycol because it's also another solubilizer, but it's also very good humectant. So it's going to boost the propanadiol's performance as well as it also have a preservative boosting for performance. So and it also helps with the skin penetration. So. We're adding 3%, so that's going to be 1.5 grams. So let's tear it. 1.5 grams. Betaine is, is an EcoCert uh, ingredient. Also helps with the skin moisturization, boosting the whole skin moisturization properties. But it also has a skin texturization properties and also helps solubilize the um, salicylic acid in combination with propanadiol so it has a multifunction ingredient i really uh, suggest getting a betaine and it's also ecocert is a natural product um, so we're adding three percent so i'm going to add 1.5 grams okay so we added our betaine next i'm adding a geoguard ultra this is a, a preservative if you don't have this product uh, this preservative you can use alternative preservatives like uh, preservative eco or you can use a uh, liquid germal plus or any other uh, preservative that is available to you so um, I've also chose this just as an extra it has as you can see it has something called gluconolactone here so the main function of gluconolactone is 
uh, in the ingredient section of the product that we see in Poa's Choice, they have something called sodium tetra EDTA. So tetra EDTA is a synthetic chelating agent. You might ask, what is chelating agent? Chelating agent's main purpose is to increase the shelf life of the product and helps the product going from uh, discoloration. So it keeps the product stable very much. So uh, and also gluconolactone has extra moisturization properties so that's why I chose this uh, preservative so we're gonna add 1% so 1% equals to 0 0.5 grams so I'm just gonna add 0 0.5 grams of this okay so now that these are all added the reason I'm adding at this stage along with the salicylic acid is just we want to dissolve all of them together next I'm adding a 5% solubilizer so this is a natural solubilizer called Symbiosol Clear Plus uh, you can also alternatively use polysorbate 20 or you can use Tegosol 61 um, they, the main function of this ingredient is to help the salicylic acid to stay dissolved and it won't crystallize so that's the main job of this ingredient this is a natural one as you see as you can see i prefer to use natural ingredients as much as possible so this uh, and i quite like using this ingredient um you can get this on i've got this from another the same company called the soap kitchen so you can buy it from there i'm not sure i think they do send overseas but you can um, definitely get it from there or there are other places you can get it um i'll put the links down for them i'm gonna use five percent of this so 5% equals to 2.5 grams. So, so now that we have all these ingredients in here all together, so we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to mix them a little bit and then I'm gonna put it on this water bath, melt all these and become clear. So I'm gonna put that now into the water bath here. And then start stirring until it becomes quite clear okay now everything is dissolved it took me five minutes and this is around 80 86 degrees it's a little bit high but it's all right you don't need it to keep it too much so as you can see it's completely clear there's nothing left so salicylic acid and all the other powders are completely dissolved so what we're going to do I'm, we're going to do the other part, the water and the rest of the part of the formula, and I'll show you how to, how to combine them all together. The silic acid mixture has cooled down, and you can see it's crystal clear. Let's check. To, let's just quickly check the temperature. It's around 29 degrees, so it's quite cooled down. It's under 40 degrees. So next, I'm going to do is combine the water parts. So I got my jeweler scale here again. I got another uh, beaker here. So what we're going to do, we need 57% water. So let's put the water percent at 28.5 grams. So put the water. Okay, so I put emptied my water here. Next is going to be 15% tea tree. Just because if you're using this liquid exfoliant, as an acne treatment, tea tree will help as it has antibacterial, antifungal, and you also keep the uh, pores clean. So let's add 7.5 grams, which is the 15% here. Let's tear it first. Okay, so I added three tea tree and tea tree and water mixture. So we have them all together now. So we're now gonna add two extract in Paula's Choice formula. They had green tea extract, but I'm also adding some cucumber extract just for extra moisturization, skin comfort. And so also cucumber extract has a bit of nice fresh cucumber smell to it slightly. So it's just gonna help with the um, smell part of it. So we, I'm adding 2% of this each. So 2% equates to one gram. So I'm adding one gram of each here. Okay, that's some. So that's done. And then you're also gonna add some green tea. So we need one gram of this as well. You can see it's a bit, it's a tea color. Nice, a little bit of uh, tinted color to it. So so let's add this. Okay, so we're now 
everything and let's just keep the mixture just a little bit just tint it in the color because of the green tea extract well that's perfect all the two so now we have the two mixture so i'm going to add the water part into the salicylic acid uh, i'm going to add it slowly because the solubilizer we use symbiosol has a tendency to get foam and uh, it has a little bit of surfactant in it so you want to add it slowly so so that you don't get too much of a uh, forming going on so i'm adding slowly here okay now that everything is ready it's almost ready so we have to check the ph very quickly don't forget because this is um and acidic you want the ph to be somewhere between th between three to four is all right so uh the th um the reason you want the ph to be this low is because you want the ph of the salicylic acid to be very effective and bioavailable what does what does that mean if you increase the ph to five or 5.5 to make it really skin compatible the salicylic acid will neutralize and there's no point of using it. You just may be using water on your face. So you don't want to uh, neutralize the acid to by raising pH to five. So between three and 3.5 is really the ideal point. It may even go to up to four, but you know, 3.5, 3, 3.5 is really good. So next thing we're going to do is gonna empty this into our bottle and that'll be it. And done. The foaming part is gone as well. So here's this our uh, liquid exfoliant salicylic acid two percent uh, BHA exfoliant liquid exfoliant. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show this. I'm going to put this uh, on my face. Just going to pour it in some cotton pad and clean my face and show you how to apply it as well. So here I got the product. Uh, as you can see, it's quite clear. <laughs> I'm really chuffed with myself. Not that I was questioning about my formulation skills, I wasn't 100% sure how would uh, the ingredients would react, Sometimes, especially with considering salicylic acid, it can be very temperamental. Um, thank God there was no opaqueness, nothing going wrong, it didn't look any, um, it didn't look any kind of weird, it looks quite clear as you can see, uh, I'm really really happy with it. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to um, use it. I'm going to drop some couple of uh, drops into the cotton pad and all I'm going to do is clean my face, apply to my face. Um, also don't forget because this is an, some, an acidic uh, solution you might want to uh, keep away from sun. If you do gonna go somewhere that's very sunny or outside that is quite a uh, nice weather you do want to apply sunscreen just to protect your skin uh, otherwise uh, stay indoors just to protect your skin um, and it doesn't sting I thought it will sting a lot but it wasn't because of the moisturizing agents that we added like propanadiol, pentin, gylicol um, also the comforting extracts like cucumber it really uh, doesn't sting a lot it's actually quite nice freshing uh, feel to it uh, there's some little dirt <laughs> not much but uh, <laughs> Uh, it's okay um, anyway so I hope uh, you like the product and if you have any pro if you have any questions about alternative ingredients or about the formula itself please do leave your comments in the comment section I will be uh, I'll come back to you as soon as possible um, and also if you do this uh, in your, at your home if you try it please do tag me on Instagram I would like to see how you how you do it too um, my Instagram details just gonna show up and until next time take care and if you have any more product uh, challenges for me if there's something very popular that you use and if you want me to do it in a, with the natural ingredients do let me also know in the comment section and i'll take your challenge until next time you take care and thank you for watching bye